Hi, this is Paula J from uh, Secure Academy delivering cybersecurity talks, uh, which interview the most prominent and professional people in the IT industry. Today I got with me Alex de Jong. Hi Alex, how is it going? Hello, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very good. I'm very happy for this interview. Oh, thank you. Because we've, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about related with BYOD, bring your own device. Yes, uh, indeed. Perfect. So if you guys um, are interested in that subject, make sure you're going to stay with us because there's a lot of interesting tips that Alex has to tell you today. And uh, basically, a um, couple of words about Alex. Alex is an international consultant, speaker and trainer, uh, speaking at different kinds of conferences. Uh, also, uh, you do a lot of different types of uh, work with a conflict manager and you do implementations for BYOD scenarios. Yes, I do, yeah. Perfect. Th th that sounds really good. It, it must be very challenging because it's a new subject, isn't it? Well, it's, it's actually around for quite a while. It's like two or three years that it's really booming yeah. because Microsoft's now getting into this. Mm -hmm. uh, before you got like other companies that were busy doing the BYOD thing mm -hmm. all in their different ways. Mm -hmm. And now Microsoft is involved and well that makes it large immediately of course. Yeah, absolutely. And it makes it also, also more accessible. Yeah? Yes, because you know people have their tools like Config Manager and, and well, Intune is, is Always there. Oh, good. So. And and well, before we start over, you got also uh, the Twitter account, right? Yes, yes. I'm uh, at alexdeyoung.com. Cool. Which is you know based on my website name. So yeah. Good, good. So you, you guys definitely should check out. You you post over there. What kind of types of posts? Well, BYOD related. related? It's, it's, it's very often on what airport I am. Okay. <laughs> but it's uh, yeah, I try to post as many yeah. yeah yeah where I'm going. So no, it's uh, very often I try to write stuff about the BYOD subject because uh -huh. it's just there's so many different things to to talk about in that in that area. That's great, awesome. Yeah. So let's start. I got a couple of disturbing questions to you. Good. Are you ready for that? Um, well, I hope so. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, um, how do you see BYOD um, developing within the companies? Like, is this something that people start paying attention to? Like, are companies interested in managing different types of devices that people bring in? Well, one of the major challenges is that, that BYOD happened way before companies started thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Because, well, we all have email on our phone, mm -hmm. and that is basically BYOD. Yeah. And, well, because of Exchange Active Sync, where you could have your email synchronized to your phone, there's the number one problem immediately occurs, and that mm -hmm. is, how are, we gonna, how are we going to protect the company data, mm -hmm. which is on the phone, which could be lost in taxis, in bars. Yeah. Um, which happens. Which yeah. happens a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. If you look, I, I go to these, to these customers and they ha it happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. People lose their phone. Like every day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, well, and, and that's so BYOD, or, or actually the, 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 the thing BYOD, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's around for ever since Exchange started supporting mm -hmm. phones mm -hmm. and it's actually just the last couple of years that people are actually starting thinking about this companies mm -hmm. i mean users they already they're very much used to this you mm -hmm. know on your phone there's everything it's it's not only corporate data microsoft now is has sharepoint connections to to the corporate sharepoint for the phone there's there's all these office 365 applications you can just use using your phone mm -hmm. so it's well it's going to be a problem Mm -hmm. as long as companies are not thinking about it. Yeah, sure. So that, that, that's something that it's a, like a future recommendation that uh, BYOD mm -hmm. is out there. Yes. And uh, we should start becoming familiar with it because uh, it's going to hit us one day. Yeah? Well, it's, it, it's hitting us all day, every yeah. day already for maybe the last 10 years. It's just that, well, we, we really now start to act on it because there's a huge security issue if users are just, you know, left on their own do whatever you want with your phone and our data is on there, so good luck. You Absolute, don't do that. Absolutely. Uh, well, since you mentioned mobile devices, we've got Android phones, uh, which uh, basically we can do a little bit more to them than, than in usual. Uh, do you see the possibility uh, within the current BYOD technologies to make sure that Android phones are safe? Well, the, most, the, the biggest problem here is that the B BYOD solutions, they don't own Android. Mm -hmm. So security has to come from within the operating the system platform, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and we all know that Android on that matter is not the best, right? Um, and to be honest, for the BYOD perspective, well, there's only one thing you can do to protect yourself and mm -hmm. that is disable Android. Mm 
Okay. On the other hand, Android, of course, they know about this. Mm -hmm. And well, nowadays there's Android for work, where at least there is a little bit more of security in there, but it's in progress. It has to be developed more and more and more. Mm -hmm. um, so the only solution to really have a secure Android phone might not, well, might not be using it at all. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we all know that, well, Android is like a cheaper phone. All the users want this, and, and mm -hmm. that is maybe the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in what companies like and what in users like. Mm -hmm. And users like Android. Mm -hmm. And it's the majority of users have Android. Yeah. And, well, we as a company, we have to just ad adopt to that and make sure that we, ha that we at least can do the j best job we can. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's some technologies that can help us with this mm -hmm. and maybe it's not by securing the phone itself but at least we can secure the applications that run on them. Mm, okay. So nowadays there's this mobile application management feature in Intune mm -hmm. that helps you protect the data which is in the application. Okay. That is a good thing because then at least when a phone is lost and hacked mm -hmm. the company data is still encrypted and, and secured. Sure. And what about uh, the perspective of people? What is your experience with this? Because uh, I bring my own phone to the company and uh, quite often we've got a, a possibility to decide, like, do we want to use a company's phone on the, or, or your own personal phone? And uh, a lot of people actually choose the personal phone because this is something that they are used to. But yeah. then he, here comes BYOD and says that oh, if you want to use your phone, then we have to be on it uh, in order yeah. to uh, enforce some kind of policies to make things secure. So how do people feel about it? What, what are your experiences, how to deal with it correctly and how to explain <laughs> to the end users that this yeah. is actually for their, their sake? <laughs> yeah, again, that's the, the difference in, 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 well, goal of using the phone, mm -hmm. right? Companies like users to use the phone to do their jobs, but users have a phone for their personal life. That's Facebook, LinkedIn, that's Twitter, exactly. that's Snapchat. Mm -hmm. That's what they buy the phone for. Mm -hmm. Not so much for, well, doing the job, mm -hmm. because it's in bring your own device, it's your own device that, that actually matters. Yeah. Um, so I, I see companies where users have two phones, one mm -hmm. corporate phone and one own device. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then again, who wants to walk around with two phones? That makes no sense. So, so probably what we have to do managing those devices is mm -hmm. accept that users bring their own device, mm -hmm. that users can use their own device to, well, at least what, to do whatever they want, take mm -hmm. their pictures, take their Facebook, do everything they need. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that we can do is make sure that the corporate data on the device is secured. Yeah, so things like remote yeah. pipe and so on, yeah? Yes, so yeah, let, let's say you know, the application management helps with this. Mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft also has this RMS kind of feature, uh, the information rights management, where, mm -hmm. you have, where you can protect your documents on the document level. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, that will not stop you from data leaking if a user on purpose wants to leak data. Yeah. But if a phone is lost, well, at least there is protection, at, uh, protection there. You can do something about it. Yes. yes. The phone is yes. gone, but then it's just like a couple of hundred dollars, but the data, it's not gone. Yeah, but, but, but I think we have to lose the idea of being able to control the device. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as a company starts to control the device itself, users will not be enthusiastic about this anymore. And, mm -hmm. and the complete benefits of bring your own device scenarios, they will all vanish. Okay, perfect. So uh, now it's time for a couple of soft questions. Okay, good. Yeah, ready for I this I can do one? soft yeah. questions, okay, yes. Great, great. So uh, the first soft questions to you, Alex, is um, <laughs> what if someone wants to start their adventure with BYOD? Uh, like s someone has a vision, being a student, for example, at the mm -hmm. university or being like, having just a couple of years of experience in IT and they see that as a future, what they are supposed to do? Well, first I would say um, pick, a, pick or choose what side you're on. Mm -hmm. And that means like, do you want to be the, the person that controls everything? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to be the person that will talk to the users and see what we can do at that side? Okay. Then, Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, indeed. And, and then we could go and say, um, well, maybe we should start investigating what kind of t well, software we can use for this. Mm -hmm. So where do we go? Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's not only Intune, mm -hmm. of course. There's Mobile Iron, there's AirWatch, there's, there's uh, Blackberry actually has software for this. So mm -hmm. you just you know, investigate what options we have with which kind of solutions. Mm -hmm. well, and then it's a matter of, well, testing a lot, listening to users a lot. Yeah. That's what I would do. 
That's what you would do. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. It's a, it's a good advice. And what about uh, the advanced guys? So they have already quite a big infrastructure, uh, or they're working within the enterprise, and they want to like implement BYOD solutions. So what they should pay attention to? Well, you know, I, I have a lot of customers that work with exactly. config manager. Yeah. And it's large customers, and mm -hmm. they have thousands of machines, workstations they manage. Yeah. Um, and I see those companies struggle a lot with BYOD because they, uh, if, if you're in Config Manager for, for a long time, you are probably used to being the in-control guy. Mm -hmm. Now, in Config Manager 2012, Microsoft started introducing the, well, not so in-control kind mm -hmm. of management, okay. where Config Manager actually switched from a computer-centric to a user-centric scenario. Mm -hmm. And that is actually where it's going. The mm -hmm. user is important, and well, we just have to adopt with whatever the user wants to do, where mm -hmm. he wants to do this, and when. Mm -hmm. um, well, so those companies, they struggle a lot with BYOD scenarios. They have real issues in, in figuring out what to do there. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, Config Manager integrates very nice with Intune. So mm -hmm. that is something that, that I do a lot. So, so these are the tools that could make yeah. BYOD comfortable for administrators? Yes, you know, if you have everything in one console, that's awesome. If yeah. you can deploy an application once and it doesn't do a user and it doesn't really matter what device or operating system the user brings, mm -hmm. but it's still de deployed to that single user, well, that's, that is a really nice way to manage your application. Yeah, and, and for the couple of thousand computers, uh, enterprises, companies, uh, probably Config Manager is already there. Oh, yes, I see it almost everywhere. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. So, yeah. so that's just a matter of expanding the functionality to something that uh, is already available, right? Yes, indeed. And, and Microsoft is spending a lot of time and development and money on making that better and better and better every day. Yeah, because it's, it's one, of the, one of the best products, yeah? Yes. To me, it is at least. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess yeah. a lot of companies. Because how else, if not like this, you manage uh, all the uh, all the software out there? And mm -hmm. there are also a couple of other features, like endpoint protection, for example, which is more in the in my interest, where you are able to uh, take care about the configuration of the machines, like different kinds of vulnerability scanning and so on. So Config Manager can do a lot of things, including BYOD. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, thank you so much. Just a couple of words for summary. Uh, today we have talked about BYOD scenarios, uh, how important they are for companies, what kind of options, solutions and approach you should take in order to bring um, the technologies to make sure that your BYOD scenario uh, can be better or can be something, um, at least yeah. uh, fr from, from the um, absolutely no BYOD situation. Uh, but um, anyway, so this is, this is the uh, interview. And guys, if you got some questions uh, to Alex regarding BYOD, or to myself uh, regarding mm -hmm. some parts in, of security within it. Uh, we are mm -hmm. definitely waiting for you. So make Absolutely. sure you're gonna post them in the, in the comment section and uh, make sure that you're gonna click on the link to follow us and uh, make sure that uh, you're gonna do it in order to um, uh, see the blog posts related with it. Uh, so this is, this is us today and uh, I was uh, interviewing prominent specialist mm -hmm. Alex de Jong and thank you so much uh, <laughs> for you. being with us. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks.